squeaky bum time. And I've had a watch for you, can you just... <laughs> What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode. We are so, 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 so close to 3,000 subscribers. We're about 300 off at the time of filming this. Hopefully, we'll have surpassed that, but I doubt it. So don't forget, before you do anything and watch any more of this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. It really does encourage me to make more videos. So if you want more, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I'll catch you on the next one. I have turned up to another one. This one is two leaks through ceilings or two wet patches on a ceiling. I'll show you that in a second, but I'll just show you where. <sighs> she ran up the stairs. <laughs> I'll show you where or what I have found. Customer shut off the cold water main and emptied the heating system already because I wasn't able to get here like rapid response, although it is same day. So we've got this, which I presume or after tracing the pipes back, this is the hardest bit of the job now. I'm trying to figure out which pipe is which. So I presume that's cold water main, which as you can see has been leaking an incredibly long time. Probably because it's been kinked. So I'm just gonna cut that out. Two press couplings on there. And that'll be done. And the heating is leaking on these. Now you shouldn't have isolation valves on the heating system. Especially this type, or this type, although it's not leaking from the valve shut off point itself like they normally do, it's leaking from this end. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to strip that down, paste it up, and put it back together again. They were easy to trace them because they just go to, I can follow them, radiator on that side. So heating's emptied, cold water's off. I've got a lovely attic to work in. The joys of being a plumber. Let's get into it. Plumb tub, just in case. So the pressure is off the system, so hopefully. Oh, that was tight anyway. You can hear it sucking in a. The olive is well on. Might wrap it with PTFE instead. Oh, it's getting in now. Really, I should be taking these two valves out because like I say, don't want them on a heating system really. But, ah, man, I ain't got time for that. Get the leak fixed. Beautiful. It's squeaky bum time.
Okay, so with a bit of luck, that'll be that side and that side. And I've had a while three, can you just change the thermostat on a radiator? Oh, cold water's back on now, so let's give this a little check. Beautiful. I'm going to change that valve and I can check that. There's two air vents up there for bleeding the radiator system because this is a bungalow. Soldered a 10 to 15 mil reducer on. New radiator valve. Let's get the heating filled up now and bleed the air vents in the loft. I just bled them two them two air vents now. We're gonna bleed all upstairs radiators. Get that one turned on. I'll just turn the valves off and change the TRV on. Turn the heating on, check everything's up and working, and I'll finally be on to the next one. Absolutely. Actually, this one we're at is basically under floor heating pump, which is stuck solid. I did call in last week to try and free it off. Took it out, tried to free it off, weren't having it. So we're here to replace it, just the head only. But you want to see <laughs> where I'm actually working. <laughs> Behind the sodding boiler, in between all that. It's a humongous setup, is this? So I'm just going to pull the power cable off and close these two butterfly valves. Oh, that feel a bit wet. Uh oh. I'm basically just going to check they've shut off by opening the air vent at the top of the manual one into a bucket and just taking the pressure off. Chuck that bucket there just in case and undo the four Allen keys. Four mil. Moment of truth. Lovely. Check the seating's all nice and clear. No debris or anything on it. Shut the new head on. Crack them pump valves open again. Dry them off just so shortly I can check that they're definitely not leaking. We've got to bleed this system now. I use this air vent and the make sure the automatic air vent on the other side is open as well. Check there's no air in either side. Although we hardly drained anything out, so I'm hoping it should be sound. Because it's a light for light head, we'll just plug. Same plug straight in. Sweet. Now I've got to clear its air. And test it's all up and working. This is the new one, as you can see. Solid. And get the grips on that middle propeller. And we'll be able to free it off, but I only see it as temperamental. How awesome is that? Well, that's me. I've got another five manifolds to check. They're up and working. And so far I've found two faulty pumps. There's one. Come on, girl. None of them seem to wanna. Mm. 
No, it's going to be a replacement pump again. So this next one we've been called out to is uh, one of these Talvero valves, radiator valves, leaking from the spindle. So I've just stripped it down like you would even any other to any tap. It's got a rubber washer on the bottom there. But basically it's these two O-rings, they're the old ones that have failed. So silicone grease all this up now, put it back together and hopefully, famous last words, should be all right. With a look, that oh, should be it. If not, it's a new valve. what o-ring kit they use i think this is actually from somewhere like uh aldi work zone middle and that are from aldi Lidl as well they don't they don't get used very often Second one of the day, second back to Duo Tech. I can get knocked off. Basically, when the heating's on, the pressure is rising right over to three. Um, and then when it cools down again, the heating's off. There's not enough water pressure. And it's going to E119 fault. Which says to me, the expansion vessel's flat. 2015 boiler, but it's never been serviced. Slip the cover off and see what the pressure is like inside the expansion vessel. That will give us access to the shredder valve core. to the vessel. What a surprise. Lovely. I love this thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Give it a little test now. Yeah, this Regan quick, quick attachment hose, absolutely rubbish. Just leaks. Easy to get on, but just leaks. Do not recommend. 